A flash fire at a business turns deadly. Two animals killed as fire and smoke rip through a pet mm -hmm. store. The business located on Virgil Avenue near Monroe Street is in East Hollywood. And KKL 9's Leslie Marine is live tonight with more on this tragic fire. Leslie. Pat Juan, this is the business right behind me. It is the Pet Joy Toys Health and Essentials, and you can see the outside of the business looks in pretty good shape. That's because the fire, the smoke, all contained to inside. I want to show you some of the furniture that was inside. You can see just how charred it is. It gives you a good idea of what firefighters were up against and why firefighters now say two of the cats inside did not make it. This car full of dogs were the only ones that survived after this pet supply store went up in flames. Marie McCune was there just as firefighters were rescuing the animals. Just like several dogs laying on the sidewalk and the owners picking up dogs and putting them in their car. Uh, they were in horrible shape. Firefighters say they got a call about a fire at the Pet Joy Toys Health and Essentials store in East Hollywood just after 6 o'clock. Initially, they didn't know how many animals were inside. After the fire was knocked down, quickly removed uh, nine canines and three felines from and, and then uh, transitioned into giving resuscitative measures to these animals. McCune got these photos of firefighters as they helped to give the animals oxygen. In another video, you can see the moment it works. One of the dogs gets up and begins to walk. But firefighters sadly say two cats died. All the dogs survived. It's really sad. It's really sad. The store's owners did not want to talk to us as animal control tried to get help to some of the animals. McCune, who is a dog groomer, says she's visited that store before but never saw any pets inside. When I asked her uh, if she did grooming or something, because I'm a groomer, and she said, no, no, we just sell the toys and the bows and stuff. It took 25 firemen to put out the flames. Investigators could not yet say how that fire started or if the business had a smoke alarm. Residents tell us they're just glad some of those animals made it out alive. And we did try to figure out where those animals really came from and who maybe they belong to. If they did grooming services here or if they belong to customers, we again tried to speak to those owners, but they did not want to speak with us. Reporting live, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.